Hey guys, it's Carl here. Today I'd like to show you what I do to treat mites for the FMA hives. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. I just have a bottom board and a wand that sticks in where the DE tray goes. So follow along, it's a short video, and I hope you enjoy it. Before you begin the OA treatment, you need to close all the hive entrances. You close the two bottom sliders and then you make sure that the disc on the top is also set to the closed position. From this angle on the hive we can see that the vent holes and the lid are also closed off. I had some duct tape with me today so I just put duct tape across the holes in order to keep the OA vapor from escaping the, out the top of the vent. Another method would be to use a wet towel. Just put a wet towel over the whole top of the hive and that will help keep the OA vapor inside of the hive. This is my OA board. As you look down into it, you can see it's basically a piece of plywood with an electrical box in the bottom. And then you slide the oxalic wand through and clamp it down using the clamps from the electrical box. And if we look at the back side, I just have it zip tied. To a piece of wood to hold it down and then two cables here hooked to the, the battery that I use which is a lawn tractor battery and this is the back side of the wand happens to fit perfectly through the knockouts on the electrical box so it works pretty well this is my oxalic acid and I put it in a container that's easy for me to scoop out of for a Single brood box, you're supposed to use a quarter teaspoon. I just get what I think is about a quarter. And then put it down in my pan. And then I slide the bottom out of my bottom tray. And the OA tray just goes right in. And it sticks out a little bit, so I have something to pull it out with when I'm done. So after that, uh, what I do is I just hook the jumper cables up to the battery. And then I timed it. Uh, first time you do this, you want to time it outside of the hive so that you know how long it takes to evaporate. And for my wand in this particular battery, it takes about... 10 to 11 minutes the first time to heat up and evaporate and then the second time is a lot shorter but you have to wait a couple minutes between hives in order for it to cool down put the negative on put the positive on and then come back in 10 minutes and that should be uh, all done So here we're about eight minutes into it and you can see there's a little bit of vapor coming out the back but not much. Just see a little bit of it. And you can see it's coming a little bit out of the top of the vent now. So it's probably flowing pretty good inside the hive if it's coming out the top vent. And after the 10 minutes are up, let it uh, cool down for 5 more minutes and then pull the board out.
and should be done. On to the next hive. You can see it all evaporated and there's nothing left. Tray back in here. Some people put Crisco or cooking spray in the bottom, and after a couple days, you can come back and check and see how many mites dropped. Uh, that'll tell you if your treatment was effective or if you had mites. Also, highly recommend doing a uh, mite check with alcohol wash and after if you want to check how effective your treatment was. And the last step is after you're done treating with OA <clears throat> and you've waited about 15 minutes from when all the OA has evaporated, you can then go ahead and open the vents back up and open up your front entrance. Hope no bees come shooting out at you. because they're usually not very happy. The one thing I really like about doing this with the Apamay Hive is it has a screen bottom board on it. So when you put your OA wand into the bottom with the plywood, it's right in the center um, of all your frames. I think your bees really get a good dose right in the middle versus if you're shooting in the end with a a different style OA application. Um, this rises right up through the middle of the hive and I really like that a lot about this method. Although it does take longer and so that's definitely a trade-off versus some of the other uh, tools such as using the probate. If you have a lot of hives this probably isn't practical but if you just have one or two or your backyard beekeeper I think this is definitely um, one of the ways that you could go.